Aries, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. This is my regular Monday to show you something with an action wobble on it. And I'm real excited because this week the action wobble designers are teaming up with the Stampendous designers and will be showcasing the new line of kiddo stamps. And of course we're going to show you lots of creative ways to make them wobble. Now you need to check out the Action Wobble blog each day because we're going to pick a winner from the comments and at the end of the week we're going to have a fantastic Action Wobble and Stampendous blog hop. So make sure you go by the Action Wobble blog each day guys and get all the details on how you can get entered to win a prize. Now, I've made a card using the Artiste cartridge and the Doodle Charms cartridge and Stampendous was kind enough to give all the Action Wobble design team some stamps to work with and some goodies for this special week and this special blog hop and one of the things they sent me was this set of clear stamps and this one is called Friendly Phrases there's some really cute ones on here. They're for thinking of you and birthdays and just friendship. And I chose to use the one right over here, Thoughts of You. Always put a smile on my face. There's some cute ones on here that would be great to put on the inside of your card as well. But what I've done is I kind of combined <laughs> a thinking of you card with, I guess this could be a Thanksgiving card, a fall card, or a Halloween card. But I've got my little pumpkin on an action wobble, as you can see. And right down here is where I put my stamp on this little banner. So I'm going to tell you all about this card. It's a white card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a black mat under this uh, argyle mat, and it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. The orange and black argyle mat is four by five and a quarter. Then I cut a square of black at three and a half by three and a half and cut this cute striped paper at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now these papers came from Studio G and I got them at Walmart and guys they just got tons of Halloween papers and stickers and all kinds of bling and stamp pads and stamps so if your Walmart carries the Studio G line check them out because they're getting ready for Halloween and I was lucky enough to pick up this cute paper there but I've got this uh, black and striped square up on one thickness of foam tape and I've added a little black button in each corner the buttons are from Favorite Findings and my little pumpkin with a smile on his face is from the Doodle Charms cartridge. And you will find him on page 120. I cut the background out of brown on blackout. And then I hit shift over here. I cut the pumpkin face out of orange and the little green vine, I guess is what that is, out of green. And my pumpkin was cut at three inches. And it was real simple just to pop him up on that action wobble. I love him. Down here for my banner, I used the Artiste cartridge. And here's the banner I used right here. This is Accent 4 on page 35. I love this cartridge. Thank you so much to Melanie Brown for sending me this Artiste cartridge and this bundle. And if you're interested in picking this up, guys, you need to go see Melanie because she is going to give away a Cricut Expression or an E2 with purple end caps. So if you want to get entered to uh, maybe win that, go see Melanie. She's got all the details over at her blog and that's CourtneyLane.blogspot.com. I'll give you a link for that at the end of the video. But I cut this banner out at one inch and this is page 35 
and I've inked around it with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink. And here's my little Stampenda stamp. Thoughts of you always put a smile on my face. And I wanted to make sure the smile showed up on the pumpkin, so I took some chalk and highlighted that little smile that the Cricut cuts. And I did take a little small piece of black cardstock and put behind his eyes because the brown that was showing through just didn't show up as well. But I think he's so cute. I added a couple of buttons to my banner and I took some of the uh, thin uh, baker's twine that I love so much that comes from the Royal Castle Shop over at the scrapbookingqueen.com. I love this. This is black and white and just wrapped it around, let's see, five times. And my banner is popped up on one thickness of foam tape as well. So there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you that cute little stamp from Stampandas. And I will be back Saturday and show you some of the other goodies that uh, Stampendous sent and how I've used them to make another card. But make sure now you go over and check out the Action Wobbles blog today. It'll tell you what the prize is for the comment today and how you get entered. So don't miss out, guys. And we've got something new for you at the Action Wobble blog every day. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for coming by today, guys. And I will see you again really soon. Bye now.